Hey everybody, I thought for those of you that don't know me, I'd introduce myself to you. My name is Gary Goldberg, and I'm part of the uh, guys that uh, work at the uh, Beaches Studio, uh, one of the photographers there. And um, I just wanted to introduce myself to you at all and uh, get you acquainted with our group, um, the Beach Photographers group that's going to take place at our studio. And I want to give you a quick little tip on Lightroom to get you familiar with the program and uh, hoping that you guys can come over and join one of our classes. So this is going to be what the recorded session will look like. We're going to record it as we go through the lessons at the studio so everybody can log into YouTube or Vimeo or wherever I decide to post us and you'll be able to uh, watch the recordings later on after uh, you take the class. So today's lesson is going to be really, really quick. I'm just going to give you one quick tip. Um, I've already worked on this image in Photoshop a little bit. Uh, it's a TIFF file. And one of the things that Lightroom is really good at doing right now is it's got a really good set of brush tools on there. And I actually like its skin soften brush quite a bit. And I'm going to just go through a quick little lesson here on how I finish off a shot after I've worked on it in, in Photoshop a little bit, okay? So I bring it back into Lightroom and I'm going to go and grab one of my uh, brushes here. I'm going to grab the brush tool and I actually use a Wacom uh, tablet to uh, do all of my brush strokes with but uh, I'm going to go in here to the side. I grabbed uh, the brush tool I'm going to go and use actually the softened skin brush, just, just the one that comes with uh, Lightroom, works really good. But I don't like to use the clarity at minus 100, I actually find that that becomes just too soft. So I'm going to knock it back to about 65 or 70 and start off there. One of the cool things about the brush uh, tool in, in Lightroom is that you can always just go back in and adjust your brush stroke afterwards. So if you didn't know that, uh, you do now. And I'm going to show you really quickly how that works. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom in here just a little bit more. Okay, just so that I can just work on the skin and really see what I'm doing here. And the second thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop the brush size down a, t a tiny bit here. Oh, that's too much right about there that should be you know, just a little bit bigger actually that should be pretty good right there and then I'm just gonna start painting uh, over oh I want to make sure that the auto mask is turned on because that will um, just work on the skin area and it'll, it'll automatically just soften the areas that we're, we're working on right here <clears throat> So, anyway, let's start. So, as you can see, it's just softening up the skin. It does a really nice job. I'm just going to kind of go right over it. Again, I find minus 100 to be too much. This leaves enough of the texture on the skin where it looks realistic to me. So, I'm just going to stick with it at, uh, what did I set it to, minus 65? It's working pretty good. And I'm just going to go over pretty much the whole face. Take it just, just like this. Watch the lips. And I'm going to show you a little trick that I do after I'm done with this. So. That's pretty much all I want to do here. I just want to soften up the skin a little bit. And now I'm going to zoom back out, see how it looks. Yep, that looks pretty good. I am going to click on New. So I can just grab another brush and try something else here. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, let's just zoom back in again. I've created a couple of cool brushes here that I like to use to enhance um, eyebrows, eyelashes, um, and that's the next thing that I'm going to do. So I've actually named that one Sharpen Eyebrows, Lashes, and Lips. And I like to 
quickly just make it about the size of the area that I'm going to work on. So I've made the brush now about the same size as the eyebrow and I'm just going to go over that really lightly with my brush and if you could see how that makes that just pop out now really makes the eyebrow just stand out and looks really nice. Okay now I'm going to just do the same thing on my model's eyes. I'm going to go a little bit into the makeup area here right around just makes the eyes really pop out now not everybody will like this look but it happens to work for me it's something that I like to do and then I'm just gonna grab my hand tool here by hitting the uh, space bar I'm gonna move down and now I'm gonna just work on the lips let's let's make it a separate uh, adjustment for the lips so we can go back and edit it if we don't like it okay That's just going to make the lips pop out a little bit there. And that, my friends, is how I uh, work with the sharpened eyebrows. Uh, that's the little preset that I've made. Now, I've done the lips. Now, just, just to show you how you can go back and edit that, if you guys see all these <clears throat> little dots now that are showing up here on the screen, if I wanted to go back in and edit one of those adjustments that I've just done, I can go back in there and click on it. See how it turns red right there? That shows you that that's what I worked on with that one. And if I click on this one here, it just lights up like a little mask there. You can actually see that I missed a couple of spots, but it's not really showing up. You're not going to notice that area. But if I did want to edit it, I can just click on it here. And now I'll be editing uh, that area once again. Okay, I went right back to my custom settings. And I can go in and I can just touch back up that spot that I missed. And click. Just click when I'm done. I click back on it again. You can see. Now that I've colored it in with the mask, the mask shows up. And it's all done. So I'm going to click on a new brush here now. I'm just going to do the last final step that I like to do to uh, retouching on somebody's face. I'm just going to make the eyes pop out just a tiny bit here. And I've got a preset that I've designed for the eyes too that I really love. Um, let's just find it here. It's called Wow Eyes Iris Brighten. And that's it. I'm just going to make the brush a little bit smaller just so it can go in here and fit around the eyes just get it just right alright that should be good enough if everybody can see that how it's popping out the eyes right there now oh, maybe I got the wrong one I think I wanted wow eyes sharpen yep that's it that's the one I wanted okay I may have gone a little bit overboard on that one I didn't want the exposure to go up so much so just gonna bring that down just a little bit just makes the eyes pop okay and now we're gonna go bring this one up a little bit And that's it. I'm going to click off on here and close up my brush tool. We'll zoom back out, see how it looks. It looks pretty cool. And if you wanted to see it before and after, we'll go over here, show you side by side. Okay, so the one on our left of the screen is. The, is the after and the one on the uh, right is the before and again so I've just done all that in Lightroom it's uh, got some really really great cool brush effects that you can work with here to finish up your images and that was just one of the cool things I wanted to show you guys in Lightroom hope that you enjoyed it if you come to see my class you will learn tons and tons of stuff and I'm gonna go through everything from scratch okay hope to see you guys there thanks